Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Now I know a lot of you that come here to watch my videos are big Louis Vuitton fans, just like myself. So I thought today I would do an updated collection video. Um, the last one I did, it was a really bad video. It was my very first video that I ever put on YouTube. Please don't go back and watch it. Um, but since then I have added a few more things to my collection. So I think now I've got seven pieces that I'm going to be showing you today but I'm also going to be going through what I paid for them so as you know I'm a big lover of pre-loved I love buying second-hand pieces much preferred to going in the store um, and I've saved quite a lot of money by doing just that so I'll go through each piece I'll let you know what I paid for them and what it would cost me if I walked into the store today and bought them at retail price and there is quite a difference so if you're interested keep on watching so I think what I'll do is I'll go in order of what I purchased first, right through up into my most recent purchase. So the very first thing I bought, um, I was quite nervous to get this because obviously I'd never bought anything pre-loved online before. I really was nervous of getting fake, of dealing with um, someone that wasn't going to send the item, all of these kind of things. I bought this on Depop so I was really worried but I was reassured by the fact that I had buyer protection paid through PayPal so if there was anything wrong I knew that I'd be able to get my money back but this particular seller did have really good reviews um, people on the Facebook groups that I was a part of have heard of this seller she was just yeah I, I really trusted her so my very first piece was the MM Agenda obviously I would have loved to get a bag but I thought for some reason I thought this would be cheaper to start with a small leather good but I actually ended up paying for this £320 which I'm quite annoyed at myself now because I know that I could get this for a much better deal now now that I'm a bit more experienced with buying pre-loved but it would, did come pretty much brand new it was in perfect perfect condition it still is really um, I've had my initials monogrammed on there as well but yeah it, it did come in really good condition it came with a box it came with the bag it, it didn't come with a receipt but she even put some um, of the inserts that she had already, she left them in there for me. Um, so it was a really good first buying experience, um, and it is real because um, I've had it monogrammed in the store. So yeah, it was a bit more than I would like to pay. For some reason, I thought that was really cheap. Um, but so I paid three hundred and twenty pounds for this pre-loved. If I was to go into the store today to buy this, this would cost me three hundred and ninety pounds. So I saved seventy pounds. It is, you know every little helps but I do wish I had got this for a better deal but I absolutely love it I use it all the time for work so yeah that's the MM agenda after having such a good experience with my agenda I was on the pre-loved market all the time and the next thing I wanted was a bag there was two that I really wanted the most classic ones a Neverfull and a Speedy so I kept my eyes out and I did end up finding a Neverfull which I was so happy about it was in really really good condition it's from 2012 i think um so here it is i got it in the gm size so it is the big one because i wanted to use it for work and things like that it's actually still in quite good condition i love it but i throw this around everywhere it goes thrown in my car it's just it gets really well loved um so i'm so glad i got this so the cross pair wear is amazing with this because I just use it every single day for work and it's it's done me really, really well and I'm so happy with what I got it for. So for this, I paid £360. For the GM size, I thought that was absolutely amazing. For the condition it was in as well, I've just got a liner inside there. I just, yeah, it was an absolute steal. So I was so happy to get this. Again, if I walked into the Louis Vuitton store today and wanted to buy this, one of these now will set you back £1,010. So I've got such a good deal on this. I got it two years ago, I think. Um, yeah, as I said, it's a 2012 piece, but I've saved like, how much? £700? £600? Such a good saving. So yeah, I can't say enough good things about this. I love the Neverfall and it was such a great piece for my very first bag. So I was very, very satisfied with the Neverfull, but I still couldn't get the Speedy out of my mind. I just loved how it looked. The Neverfull was obviously more of a work bag for me, travel and things like that. But I really loved the Speedy and how it looked just for, you know, dinners, nights out, just casually dressing. But you can also dress it up. 
I absolutely loved it. And I loved the classic as well. I didn't mind um, about not having the bandoulier strap. I just, it wasn't something I was particularly fond of really. So I just went with a classic. I came across this one and I got it at a really good deal. So I went for the size 30 in the Damier Iben print. It's such, such a classic piece. Again, I've had this monogrammed with my initials. I just absolutely love it so, so much. It just goes with anything. Um, I do wear it for work as well when I'm not wanting to carry as much. So I paid for this £325, which was absolutely amazing for its condition. It's Yeah, I still can't believe I got it for that. Um, if I was to walk in the store today and buy one of these now, it would cost £765. So I've saved about half the money there. It came with a little padlock. It was just great condition. The hardware is fantastic. The leather everything and it's just now that i've had it personalized with my initials this is just a forever bag for me it's not going out of my collection anytime soon so i was really happy with that purchase so the fourth item that i added to my collection is another small leather good and it's something that i've seen so many people rave about saying how much they love it how much they use it every single day they couldn't be without it and things like that so the next thing is my six ring key holder so I've just got all my car keys in there, my house keys, it all fits. It also doubles up as a little wallet, you can put a card in that little flap there. It just, yeah, I love it and I couldn't be without it now. So I'm so glad I got this. And this is the only Louis Vuitton piece in my collection that I did actually buy brand new from the store. Um, I did mind, it's, you know, you can get these pre-loved, but some of them have do have a lot of wear. Because it's that, it's that type of item where... You know, obviously the keys, they're going to damage the inside. You're going to get lumps and bumps and it's just inevitable really with something like this. So I didn't mind going for this brand new because I knew I'd get so much use out of it. Um, so I did buy this for the retail price, which was £160, but it's done me so well. Um, the button on the front is getting a little bit scratched. I don't know if you can see there, but... I just love it and I do feel like this is going to last me forever. Um, it's one of them things that I just ha have with me every day. It goes in all my bags. I just love it. So yeah, the only piece that I've bought brand new, but I was really happy to do so. I think, I do think it's worth the price. So that is the six ring key holder. So the fifth thing I added to my collection is technically a small leather good, but it's also, I can use it as a bag as well at the same time. And that is a cosmetics bag. So. I looked on the, the pre-love market and there's a lot of vintage pieces that you can't actually get in the store anymore. These styles are discontinued. So um, the one I've got is the Truce 23. So I use this as a makeup bag when I'm traveling. I just put all my daily makeup in there. If I'm going away for a weekend, for a night, this just comes with me. But it's so, so lovely because it is old. This is from 1989 and you can really tell with the older pieces the quality just feels a lot better the canvas feels thicker just the zip is so robust it's just yeah i love having vintage pieces it just feels really really good and because this is made in 1989 which is my birth year it's just that little bit more special as well so for this i paid 179 pounds which i do think is really good um i can give you a retail price on this exact style because obviously it's not sold anymore but a similar item that you could get would be um the toiletry pouch i think the 26 size you could maybe get the same amount of stuff inside that that retails for 280 pounds so i got this for about 100 pound cheaper than what that goes for so a big saving i definitely recommend vintage pieces i just think they are so so well made and yeah i really love this so happy with that So the final piece in my collection and the one that I've added the most recently is actually a luggage piece and if you've seen my most recent videos you will have seen this so I'll just show you again now. It's actually full at the minute because I'm currently packing to go home for Christmas so it's quite heavy but it is the Keepall 55B. So I um, don't know if I've said but it didn't actually come with the strap. Um, I thought I could find one pre-loved 
but that proved to be really, really difficult. Um, I was seeing straps that cost almost as much as the key pole itself. So I've actually went ahead and bought one just off Etsy, but it is such a good match. It goes so well with the, the patina on the bag. I just, yeah, I'm so happy with how, it's, how it looks. So I paid £26 for this and I was seeing genuine straps go for more than I paid for my key pole. But it matches so well. I'm, I'm really over the moon with it. So yeah. So I paid for just the key pole on its own. I paid £320. Which is insane because that is the same as what I paid for my agenda. They cost the same. which I, Yeah, it's crazy. It's just because the, this is vintage. It does have wear, it has stains, it has watermarks, but it's so well made, really, really well made. So I'm over the moon with this. It's nearly 35 years old, I think. It's a 1984 piece, but it's, it's just amazing. And I can't believe the deal that I got it for. These will just last you forever if you look after them really well. So yeah, I paid 320 pounds. If I went into the store today to get a 55 Bandulia version like this, it would cost me £1,330, which is insane. A thousand more pounds to get this brand new. It's so much money, so I highly recommend looking on the pre-love market. You can get such good deals. And yeah, they have been worn, they do have marks, but they've been loved. And as I said before, the canvas does feel better quality with vintage items. So I would always recommend looking on the pre-love market. It's just, yeah. It's my pride and joy now, so this is the first time I'm using it actually um, to go home for Christmas, so I'm so, so happy. So what I've actually done now is I've actually added up everything that I've spent on my pre-love pieces all together, and that comes to £1,834, which seems like a lot, but when you compare it to what I would have spent if I bought these at retail, I would have spent £4,160, so I have saved a total £2,326 buying pre-loved. That is an insane amount of money to save and just because somebody else has had this before, maybe used it a couple of times, once, twice, five times, it's crazy how much money you can save. So I would really, really recommend looking into the pre-loved market if you haven't already. I do have a blog post talking about how I go about buying pre-loved, where I do it and things like that. So I'll leave a link down below so you can have a look at that. I'm also on Instagram, which is at Lux and Life UK, and my blog link is luxandlife.co.uk. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I love pre-loved and I will champion it all the time. So if you've bought anything and you've got a really good deal, let me know in the comments below. I love hearing about things like that. But thanks again for watching and please do subscribe. About 90% of people that are watching my videos aren't actually subscribed, but I'd love to have you back for more videos. So please do just press the little red button down below. And thanks again for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.